What's up everyone? My name is Abby. I like to read and apparently I also like to set myself up for failure. <laughs> so today I am going to show you guys my March TBR. I was very ambitious. I don't want, maybe not ambitious, but I couldn't really decide what to read. I wanted to read so many books I couldn't choose and narrow it down. So I just pretty much put all of them into this month. I have nine books that I want to read in March. Two of them are left over from February because I didn't finish all my books in February. Um, I do have spring break this month, so I'll have a whole week to hopefully knock these out. Um, yeah, I just, I really couldn't decide. I wanted to read too many books and I, I guess I just couldn't save them till April. <laughs> I have to do them in March. It's technically even 10 books because I'm in the middle of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, but I'm not really going to count this because this is just kind of something that I'm reading when I have time. I used to have a really bad habit of reading like five or six books at a time and I would just kind of jump back and forth between them. But I've really tried to stick to just reading one book at a time. And I have my journal that I annotate the books or I like write notes about them. And so I really just want to read one book at a time. But with this book, I'm not really writing any notes on it. And so I just kind of read it here and there. So this is in there, but I probably won't finish it in March. I don't think I read it at all in February. So... We'll see. So the book that I am currently reading is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the second book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. Um, this book is just honestly kind of daunting. It's a pretty thick paperback book. Um, the first one, it was okay. It just wasn't really my favorite. Um, so I'm going to give this book a try, and if I really just am hating it, then I think I might call it quits with the series. But I'm I'm trying. We're going to try. I'm not a quitter, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm on page 39, so we got a lot left to go, so we'll try to get through this. The next book was also on my February TBR, but I didn't get to it, so I'm going to try to get to it this month. That is The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. And I really want to read this because I really want to watch the Netflix show, but I am holding off. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of myself. I've actually held off and haven't watched the show yet. I'm going to read the book and then watch the show. And... Yeah, so hopefully I will get that done um, pretty early on in March, and then I will be able to watch the show the rest of March. The next book that I want to read is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This is the February I'll Create book, and I really want to read the I'll Create books um, the next month that they come out. So if it's, you know, they come, I got this the end of February, so I want to read it in March. It sounds really good. There's magic, there's pirates, there's sea adventures. So I really want to get to this and um, maybe kind of join along the read along that Alcrate's doing. Follow their Facebook page. Um, they always have little read alongs for their Alcrate books over the past month. The next book I'm planning to read is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Uh, I finished City of Ashes a couple days ago and I really want to get to this book. I also am kind of doing a read-along um, on the Alcrate Facebook page. There's different groups, and one of the groups is doing a reread of the Mortal Instruments series, or really kind of all of Cassandra Clare's books in order to um, prepare for Chain of Gold, which comes out soon, I think beginning of March. And so I just so happened to come across this page, and in February they are reading City of Bones and City of Ashes, and I was like, I'm reading City of Ashes, I want to join! And so, uh, the plan for March is to read City of Glass, and then also Clockwork Angel, because we are reading it in publication order, which is what I plan to do anyways. 
So I was like, that's perfect. I'll just join. So I don't have Clockwork Angel yet. So if I'm able to finish this pretty early on in March, then I will try to buy that and then add that on to here. So we're going to add another book to this list. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm also going to add? Okay. So Sarah J. Mass's new book. Like, I don't... I know it by Crescent City. I know that's the series, Crescent City, like House of Blood and something. But her new book is coming out March 3rd. And I pre-ordered it, so it's gonna get here on March 3rd. So we're gonna, we're gonna add that to the list and make it 12 books. Because why not? <laughs> Honestly, I, I really don't think I'm gonna finish all these books. But it's okay. I'll just move them to April. <laughs> it's fine. Crescent City, add that to the list that'll be pretty high up on my want to read list because I I'm very excited I love Sarah J Mass love all of her books so definitely that one is gonna get bumped up the next book I want to read I'm really excited for this is a reread this is Poison Princess by Cressley Cole I really want to finish this series this is one of the series that I um want to finish in 2020 and I've read the first three books, but I don't really remember it. So I'm rereading the books in order to um, read the next ones. And I do remember loving this book. And so I'm really excited to read it again. Um, it's post-apocalyptic. And it's about, uh, I, th I think like tarot cards are kind of in there where they're based off of different tarot cards. And I just really remember enjoying this book. So I'm excited to read it again, and then continue on with the series. The next book that I plan to read is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third book in the Illuminae Files. This is the last book, and so I am super excited to finish the series. Um, love the format of it. It's so unique. It should be a pretty quick read since it's not like a traditional book. You know, it's set with like just it's it's not like a novel like it, there's pictures and text and so um this should hopefully go by a little quicker than my normal reads because it is pretty thick but you know it's not just full of paragraphs so i'm excited to read this the next book i'm super excited for but i don't know if i'll be able to get to it if not it's fine i can just push it off to april but it is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I have never read anything by V.E. Schwab. And I feel like that's a horrible mistake that I've made in my life. And I want to remedy that mistake. I've heard nothing but good things about this series. I already have playing cards based off of the series. And I just want to know what it's all about. And so um, I love the concept, magic, and just cool things. So I'm really excited to read this. The next book is... The Queen's Assassin by Melissa de la Cruz. I don't know much about this. All I know is that there are assassins and queens, obviously. And so I'm into it. Sounds great. I haven't heard a ton about it, but it just sounds like me. So if I get to it, then that's awesome. And the last book that I plan to read in March is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. This is the novella kind of like 3.1 I think in the series of A Court of Thorns and Roses and um this I don't think I would mind too much if I had to push it later because um the next book in the series isn't coming out for probably a while probably at least until 2021 and so it wouldn't be the end of the world if I push this off a little more just to you know help prepare for the next book. So those are the 10 books that I'm going to try to read in March. Actually, it's 12 when you count Clockwork Angel and Crescent City. So <laughs> I have my work cut out for me. But like I said, I do have spring break. So maybe I'll be able to read a little more during that week. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to make this like a stressful thing to me. I, the last thing I want to do is make reading like a job. Um, it's something that I do for fun. It's something that I do to get out of my life and just kind of go into another world. 
And so I never want to feel like I have to read this book in this month. And so this is just kind of a list of books that I really want to read. So that's why I just kind of put them all in this month because I want to read all of them. But it's not the end of the world if I don't get to it this month. I can always just read them the next month in April. So I just, I don't want to make this stressful for me. This is just kind of a fun list. So thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for like commenting on my videos and asking me questions. I love answering you guys' questions. I get so excited when I see a notification, like someone asked me a question and I can answer it. It's just, it's fun. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm sure you guys would be very glad to know that I am significantly less sweaty today. <laughs>